Hey everybody, how's it going? I uh, hope you're doing okay in your part of the world today. Um, so, Watch Mojo did a video t called the Top 20 uh, Top 20 Times Batman Went Beast Mode. Um, this should be a really good list here, so let's get to it, Sean Scribers. Believe me, I'll do it! I believe you. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 times Batman went beast mode. And you are not too bright. For this list, we'll be looking at the Dark Knight's most vengeful, impressive, and savage fight scenes from movies and TV. We won't be bringing in video games or comics as they could fill up lists of their own. Since yeah. some of these scenes are tied to big plot points, beware of spoilers ahead. What's your favorite Batman Beast Mode moment? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Terrifying Henchmen at the Docks. Batman <laughs> Begins. Yeah. My bats lost the way. That's frightened me. This time my enemies shared my dread. In Batman Begins, Bruce Wayne formally introduces Gotham to the Dark Knight with a terrifying display of vigilantism. A bunch of criminals loyal to crime boss Carmine Falcone are moving illegal wares on the docks. Suddenly, one of them disappears into the darkness. As the scene <laughs> continues, more of the gangsters fall victim to the mysterious attacker. It's only when the henchmen are truly terrified that Batman reveals himself. Where are you? Here. <laughs> He takes them out with a whirlwind of blows so quickly and efficiently that they don't even have time to hit him back. After all the gang members are down, he ends his intimidating introduction with two legendary words. I'm Batman. <laughs> Number 19. Roughing up the Red Hood. Yeah. Batman under the Red Hood. After a Lazarus pit brings former Robin Jason Todd back to life, he becomes a vigilante that doesn't mind killing. When Batman fails to talk sense into his old sidekick, he decides to beat some sense into the younger fighter instead. The Dark Knight keeps relatively calm until their battle leads to a bathroom. Enough! It's over! Once there, Batman snaps and starts destroying Jason and the room. The Dark Knight breaks several fixtures with his former sidekick's Yikes. face. And to end their fight, Batman punches his protege through a wall. You say you want to be better than me, but it won't happen. Not like this! If the reveal that Joker had been captured didn't distract Bruce, Jason might have needed another Lazarus pit to recover from his mentor's beating. Number 18. Yeah. Nearly breaking his one rule. Batman Hush. The Dark Knight's patience was pushed past its breaking point when he discovered his childhood friend Tommy Elliot was lying dead at the Joker's feet. Batman wasted no time before he started hitting the clown with all his might. Joker. You know what the joke is here. I'm totally innocent. Well, that doesn't even sound right, does it? During this brutal beating, <laughs> the Joker keeps insisting that he's innocent. But Batman ignores his enemy's pleas and keeps inflicting pain. Bruce's lack of calm and words make him feel like a wild animal. Although his beastly scene could have ended with Joker's death, Jim Gordon pulls Bruce back from the brink. We've seen Batman beat the clown silly in movies like Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker. Yeah. If you don't like the movie, I've got slides. However, his harsh actions towards the Joker in Batman Hush felt a lot more brutal. Number 17. Yeah. Recapturing his rogues gallery, the Batman. You see, there's this nasty little rumor we'd all like to stomp out. <laughs> you have to save me. I know. Thanks to the actions of a vigilante named Rumor, Batman and Robin are forced to fight a bunch of their rogues gallery at once. Fortunately, the heroes were up for the challenge. Batman knocks fierce opponents like Black Mask and Killer Croc aside with just a few blows. He also manages to capture Riddler and Freeze with strength and strategy. While Batman needs an assist from Robin to nab the remaining rogues, the Dark Knight gets a lot done solo. 
The fact that he bested some of Gotham's most dangerous criminals without breaking a sweat proved he's leagues above them. Batman never has to get ready to stop these rogues. He's always ready. Nope. Yeah. Number 16. Dealing out a dose of vengeance. Oh, the Batman. yeah. Almost every criminal who gets on the bad side of Robert Pattinson's Batman finds themselves at the mercy of the hero's relentless blows. While most of the Gotham gang he fights and Penguin's henchmen get knocked around, one thug gets an especially severe punishment. After defeating most of Riddler's goons, Batman is shot at close range and seems done for the day. But the yeah. side of Catwoman in peril pushes him to inject himself with a vial. In an instant, Batman's beast mode activates and he unleashes all his fury <laughs> yeah. on the last goon. He's so amped up that he nearly decks Jim Gordon. While fans debated what was in the vial, it undoubtedly gave this Batman enough energy to utterly wreck his enemies. Yeah. Jesus. Number 15. Avenging his parents. Batman, the brave and the bold. At last I have a name to go with that face. So again I ask, what will you do with this knowledge? This ends before dawn. Although Joe Chill initially got away with shooting Bruce Wayne's parents, both Karma and the Dark Knight caught up with him. While the gunman was selling weapons to supervillains, Batman arrives and takes out every single rogue in the room to get to his target. Batman followed up that impressive feat by absolutely beating Joe Chill senseless. I am the son of the man he murdered. I am Bruce Wayne. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Batman moves so fast that Chill doesn't have time to land a single hit. And after the hero shows the gunman mercy, the Dark Knight gets out his remaining rage by beating up multiple supervillains again. Batman's <laughs> thirst for vengeance clearly wasn't quenched after he avenged his parents. Number 14. Fighting the Foot Ninja Clan Solo. Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shall I tell them, no thank you, Mr. Wayne would prefer to let these monstrous ninjas attack so that he might punch them whilst wearing a bat costume? You'll figure something out. Batman's first <laughs> fight in this fun team-up film is arguably his most impressive. When he discovers that members of the Foot Ninja Clan are trying to steal from his company, he decides to take them on without backup. The boss gave him the night off. Me? I always work late. <laughs> Before we can blink, Batman's already left a dozen ninjas unconscious at his feet, but those foot soldiers are just a warm-up for his tense clash with their leader, Shredder. The two extremely skilled fighters trade brutal blows, neither giving an inch. Shredder ultimately has to use a special technique to take Batman out of the fight and escape. Although Batman doesn't walk away from this melee victorious, he still put up a heck of a fight. We don't have yeah. much time. Let's take him down. Number 13, slaughtering a SWAT team, <laughs> Titans. While Dick Grayson is stuck in a twisted fantasy, he learns that he's trapped inside with a Batman that's willing to kill his enemies. The first Robin eventually helps Starfire and a SWAT team capture the crooked Dark Knight at Wayne Manor. These were good men. I don't want to see anyone getting hurt, including you. Let's end this. Unfortunately, the very bad Batman refused to be taken alive. The Dark Knight murders every member of the SWAT team in just a few minutes of screen time. And when the powerful Starfire shows up to help, Batman freezes her to death with a cold gun. Wow. The Dark Knight only stops slaughtering people when they blow up his manor and send rubble raining down on him. Dick's nightmare sequence gave us a glimpse of how many people could die if Batman ever broke down. Yeah. <laughs> Number 12. Crushing the Court of Owls. Batman versus Robin. What the hell are these things? I'm not sure if they're actually alive. 
but I've seen firsthand that they can be destroyed. A once loyal Court of Owls warrior named Talon thought he had an advantage when he sent an undead horde of his predecessors after Batman. However, the villain didn't realize that Batman could really cut loose against zombies. Batman breaks limbs, beats down foes, and even blows enemies up. When his strength alone isn't enough to finish the enemy, he opts into a big robot and slays them more efficiently. And Batman still left enough gas in the tank to clip the living Talon's wings. But worst of all, you messed with my kid, so this is gonna hurt, and I'm gonna enjoy it. If the Dark Knight's <laughs> always this savage when fighting zombies, we hope he gets to combat the Walking Dead more often. Number 11. Putting Down Parademons Zack Snyder's Justice League Shortly after the Dark Knight single-handedly broke an alien force field, he volunteered to fight an army of parademons solo. Get to the reactor. I'll lure as many of these monsters away from here as I can. What does that mean? Don't worry about me. While the other Justice League members step in to lend assistance, Batman still takes out an impressive number of aliens on his own. He gunned yeah. down tons of enemies with his Batmobile's artillery. After Batman's vehicle was pushed to its limit, he dodged lasers, threw gadgets, and exploded enemies until he got his hands on extraterrestrial weapons. While the Dark Knight wasn't as physically powerful as his superhuman allies, he proved why he deserved to stand among them. Batman never let his human limits keep him away from a fight. Barry. Barry, are you okay? Number 10. Defeating his evil doppelganger. Justice League yes. Crisis on Two Earths. Before there was thought, there was this place. One Earth. With a single history. But with the coming of man came the illusion of free will. In Justice League Crisis on Two Earths, the heroes are forced to fight their evil doppelgangers. Batman's sinister counterpart is Owlman, a villain who aims to destroy the entire multiverse with a bomb. And so the fate of everyone in existence comes down to this epic fight. Batman has to beat a villain who has all the gadgets, intelligence, and martial arts skills of Batman. And he also has to do it with a recently broken rib. Regardless, he manages to turn the fight around at the last second. He then sends Owlman and the bomb to an unpopulated Earth with an awesome one-liner. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. While Batman's doppelganger was a tough opponent, our hero proved that no evil equivalent can top the original Dark Knight. It sure. doesn't matter. Number 9. Mixing it up with the mutant leader. Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 1. Admittedly, a middle aged Batman nearly died when he first tangled with the monstrous mutant leader. But the fact didn't stop the hero from breaking his hulking opponent out of prison to get a rematch. During their second encounter, Batman evens the playing field by taking the fight to a mud pit. I will show you who rules Gotham City! Okay, son, show me. By slowing down the mutant leader, the aging Dark Knight is able to focus on slowly and deliberately inflicting pain. He gains ground with each punch and precision strike. Top it all off, Batman lets the mutant leader know who will be victorious with a badass boast. It's an operating table. And I'm the surgeon. By winning a lopsided rematch, the Dark Knight earned the respect of bystanders who forgot he was a beast. Number 7. Besting yes. Bane. The Dark Knight Rises. So you came back to die with your city. No. I came back to stop you. The first time Batman fought Bane, the muscle-bound villain broke the hero's back. But after mm -hmm. some unconventional rehabilitation, he's ready for a rematch. Bane once again proves to be a fearsome and relentless fighter, but this time Batman is determined and strong enough to take every hard hit and return the favor. By finding and targeting Bane's one weak spot, the hero is finally able to overcome the powerful villain. And because this is Batman we're talking about, he can't resist cementing his tremendous victory with an iconic line. Tell me where the traitor is. Then you have my permission to die. This win proved that while you can break Batman's body, there's no breaking his mind or spirit. I broke you. 
How have you come back? You think you're the only one who could learn the strength to escape? Because after all, he's Batman. Number six, attacking Amanda Waller's Black Ops team. Batman Assault on Arkham. Holy crap, it's Batman! Amanda Waller thought sending a Black Ops team would be enough to take the Riddler down permanently. But her plans are quickly ruined when Batman shows up to capture the villain alive. The caped crusader begins by taking out the lights to disorient his opponents. The Riddler is mine. Then proceeds <laughs> to take them down. Batman moves with insane speed, power, and precision. Although the heavily armed team outnumbers him 10 to 1, they barely manage to touch him. Batman makes the trained professionals look like kids playing dress up. If Amanda Waller had any doubts that the Dark Knight was a threat before, his brutal Black Ops takedown convinced her that he's a force to be reckoned with. Batman's torn the city apart trying to find it. At one point, he thought Riddler might know. He later solidified he was a threat by tearing apart her very own Suicide Squad. Number 5. Saving a Cardinal from the Sewers Batman Gotham Knight Are you in pain? I work through pain. <laughs> when a Cardinal is abducted by Scarecrow's men and taken into the sewers, Batman follows them into Gotham's underbelly. Unfortunately, the hero is bitten by Killer Croc and infected with a fear toxin before he can do much rescuing. What about the toxin? You're still seeing things? Definitely. These setbacks don't stop Batman from completing his mission, however. Despite the pain and hallucinations, the Dark Knight still manages to take on a dozen of Scarecrow's crazed followers. Can anyone here speak for the Holy Man? <laughs> I can. He knocks out enemies with a single blow, dodges weapons, and even slices a metal pipe in half. Batman doesn't take a break until the Cardinal is safe on the surface with Jim Gordon. Seeing the Dark Knight fight massive amounts of pain and villains at the same time was simply incredible. Number 4. Chasing the Joker The <laughs> Dark Knight When Joker demands that Batman unmask himself, Harvey Dent claims that he is the hero and is attacked by Joker. Batman uses his tank-like Batmobile to help keep his ally safe. Even when Joker damages his ride with an RPG missile, the Dark Knight refuses to give up. He jumps on his bat pod and rides like a, well, yep. bat out of hell. <laughs> yeah. Now there's a Batman. As soon as Batman spots Joker's truck, he uses some wires and clever thinking to flip it over in an epic crash. Although Gordon is the one who ultimately arrests the Joker, the commissioner wouldn't have had the chance if it wasn't for Batman. This is Batman at his most unflinchingly determined. But you and your office have been working with the Batman all along. No, but I trusted him to do the right thing. Which was saving my ass. Number three, escaping the SWAT team. Batman Year One. Prince, yeah. keep your men under control. No one fires unless I say. Not this time, Gordon. The commissioner wants a corpse. He's gonna get one. Not every commissioner loves having a masked vigilante in Gotham. Commissioner Loeb hated the concept so much that he dropped a bomb on a building where Batman was recovering from a gunshot wound. When a SWAT team arrived to finish the job, the Dark Knight had no choice but to fight them. I like you right where you are, Brendan. <laughs> Too many people have already died. Order your squads to withdraw. I can't guarantee their safety. Despite his injuries and lack of a utility belt, Batman's able to hold his own against law enforcement. He knocks enemies unconscious, dodges bullets, and even manages to save a cat's life. And just when the SWAT team has him cornered, he summons a swarm of bats to make a stylish getaway. Batman's amazing escape earned him a lot of fans in Gotham. You've made a hero out of him. Number 2. Wrecking the Warehouse Goons Batman yes. vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice My mother needs me. Wait. I'm at your promise. Martha won't die tonight. Most people went into Batman vs. Superman thinking that the best action sequence would be the fight between the titular heroes. But the standout scene in the movie took place in a warehouse. In order to save Martha Kent, Batman has to fight his way through a bunch of thugs. After disarming most of his opponents, Batman takes each criminal down in a variety of violent ways, making sure they go down and stay down. 
He ends his rampage by bursting through a wall and triggering an explosion that KOs the remaining goons. Believe me, I'll do it! I believe you. <laughs> by the time the smoke clears, the audience has witnessed one of the most brutal versions of Batman ever put to screen. It's okay. I'm a friend of your sons. I figured. Before we continue, <laughs> be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Beating Superman. Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 2. Yeah. Look, either shut it down or one of these days someone with authority is going to tell me to come stop you. And when that happens, when that happens, may the best man win. In this gritty <laughs> two-part film, 55-year-old Batman comes out of retirement. After he beats up the mutant gang leader and fights the Joker, the president orders Superman to bring Bruce in. The two agree to fight in Crime Alley, and after plotting with his allies, Batman puts on a powerful mechanical suit and faces Superman. This is between you and me. We don't have to do this. Sure we do. Despite his age, Bruce is able to score some serious damage on Clark. With the help of his allies, Batman gets the upper hand and, as he tells Superman, could have ended the Man of Steel right there. But he decided to go easy on him. Seeing Batman beat Superman then brag about it is downright savage. I want you to remember that. I wanted to remind you to stay out of my way. In all the years to come in your most private moments, I want you to remember the one man who beat you. Did you enjoy this video? Check yes, out these I other did. clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. What a beautiful top 20 list. Um, <laughs> Batman is just the best. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> Like this video if you like Batman and comment below a uh, beast mode that you think is, comment your favorite beast mode if uh, it didn't make this list or if it did. Um, yeah. Or comment below your favorite Batman movie and animated movie. Um, well guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for loving and supporting this channel. And I encourage you to do so even more. I'm going to close this off here, but do please subscribe at the bottom for more content. Don't forget to like and share this video. Also, hit that bell below to keep up to date with my video releases and posts. Also, comment below in a video you think I should react to next. And as always, guys, take care and God bless everybody.